Hi everyone, Rob here again from the Department of Education at Cape Breton University. In this video, we're going to take a quick look around a typical Moodle course and uh, learn how to navigate around and find those essential elements that you're going to need in order to fully participate in your online courses at Cape Breton University. So I'm logged in here in student preview mode in one of my fall 2020 courses, uh, Information Management in Education Environments. What you're going to see in here at the top of the page, you're typically going to find some information and some resources that you'll need throughout the term. So in my courses, I typically leave the news or announcements forum at the top. I also typically have a questions and help forum. The specific layout may be a little bit different depending on your instructor and their preferences for laying out the course. So a discussion forum will be easily identifiable by these little speech balloon icons that you see here. Scrolling on down, we can see that uh, we have a page with some information on it that's indicated by this icon. And there's an embedded file, a PDF file, which in this case would be a copy of the course syllabus. If I click, uh, click on this here, it's going to open up a copy of that syllabus for me, and I can download the full course outline to my own computer. Taking a look a little bit further down, uh, besides the embedded files, you might see a PDF, you might see a Word document or a PowerPoint document there. Uh, we have some more uh, typical links. This link with the little hand and a piece of paper indicates an assignment, so it indicates handing the assignment in. We'll have another video in this series about working with assignments and submitting your assignments a little later on. Uh, scrolling on down a little bit further, we can see that uh, this course is organized by weekly topics. So there's a little divider here and there's a heading that indicates the week. Your instructor may use a slightly different layout for the heading, slightly different naming structure, but the principle is pretty much the same. And I can scroll down through all of these. In some cases, your course may display everything all on the one home page, as in this instance. In other cases, your course may actually have just one weekly topic at a time with a menu down here on the bottom for moving back and forth between the different modules. And I can show you an example of that right now in our preparing for online learning course. So if I click on that, here's another example. You can see that each of the weekly topics is collapsed. If I click on this one here, uh, still under construction right now, but you get the idea. It's got just one weekly module and it has navigation buttons to move around to the different topics. There's also a jump to uh, drop down box here where I can pick from any one of those topics and move around anywhere in the course. A couple of other important features that you are going to need to know about in your courses. There is a navigation block over here on the left hand side which will also let you navigate between all of your modules. You'll see some other resources in here such as uh, participants. You, you can access a class list and see who's in your course. At this point I have no one else in the course with me. However, you can come to this class list. You can get the names of your fellow students or your instructor and if you select one you can actually pick some options here. One of these is to send a message. A very useful tool. You can click on that, send a text message to your instructor or to a fellow classmate, and they will get a notification of that up here by this little speech balloon by your name. The other thing that's important to know about is the drop down menu that's up here by your name. If you click on here, you can log out of the course, you can access all of your uh, text messages, you can see your grades for all of your courses. You can also edit your profile and your preferences. And we'll have some videos later on about tweaking some of your preferences uh, to help manage the uh, course notifications. It's also a good idea to update your profile. You can add in all kinds of things here, including a little description about yourself. You can change your personal picture and basically anything that you want to share with anybody else who's in your course or with your instructor about uh, about yourself you can do that here under the profile area so coming back into my course i'm back into my information management and education environments course here we can take another look at some of the other areas where you might want to navigate uh, if i were to scroll back on down to this page here and click on this 
it's going to open up a page of content for me with some information. In this case, it's the instructor contact info for this course. I can navigate back to the course homepage again by clicking on this button up here in the breadcrumbs. I can also use the jump to menu to go anywhere that I want in the course. I can use the next and back buttons here to go to the previous or next topic in the course. Coming on back to the course homepage and scrolling on down a bit, I can click on one of these assignments and get information about that. Again, we're going to have another video about this later on in the course. I can scroll on down a little bit further. These are links to external web pages outside of the Moodle course. You can tell that by the little globe icon over the icon that's next to the link itself. And this icon here is for something that we call the Moodle book. In my courses, I tend to use the Moodle book to organize my readings and activities for the week. Some of your instructors may just use pages to organize that, or they may use a tool with a slightly different icon called the Moodle lesson. Let's take a look at this uh, Moodle book. I click on this link here. You can see just a short little page of content. There is now a table of contents over to the side here in the left hand side. I can use these links to go anywhere to any of these pages in this book. Chapters Moodle uh, actually calls them and sub chapters. I have arrows that I can use to navigate back and forth throughout the content. Uh, in my content, there's often text, there's videos embedded. I can just click on that and play the video right here in the course. And again, I can use the breadcrumbs at the top of the course page to navigate back to the home page. I can use this jump to menu to go anywhere I want in the course, or I can use these links right at the bottom to navigate to the previous or next topic in the course. Taking another look a little bit further down, we have uh, some more types of icons here. Uh, in this case, we have uh, a weekly checklist. So the way that this works, I uh, would uh, need to switch to student preview mode here. I'll do that to show you what that looks like. We scroll back on down to the checklist. I can check these items off as I get them completed in the course.